So, question four then from the 2015 New Hire Paper 1. Here we go. Three mark question. Write down the parameters for the equation of this little trigonometrical graph here. Now again, that's four questions now, and they have been really quite straightforward. That's 13 marks so far, which have been quite easy, despite what's been said about this exam. Still, what have we got? It tells you it's a cosine. You probably would have guessed that anyway, because it starts at the top and goes down and so on. And then you identify them quite readily. P should be the amplitude. Don't just leap in with four, because amplitude means how much it goes up and how much it goes down. And quite clearly, that's not symmetrical. Now, it does just say, state the values. So you don't actually need to give any justification for it. But I'll put it down. What would the amplitude be? Well, altogether, it's swung up and down how much? 4 take away negative 2. It's gone up and down 6. Which means if you divide that by 2, that would be the amplitude. So you've got 6 over 2, so P is equal to 3. And how much has the graph been shifted up? Because it's not oscillating about the x-axis. It's oscillating about this point here. Where would that point be? Well, if it's gone up 3 from there, that must be at 1. So I could put R down next. If I wanted any working, which you don't, it would have been 4 take away 3, which equals 1. And then Q. Q would be equivalent to what's the frequency of this? How many of these wavelengths appear in the normal space? The normal space being one revolution, 360 degrees, or 2 pi. Well, this is done it by pi up in 2. This is done it by 90 degrees. So it could do another three times. There'd be 4 in the normal space, so Q is 4. Or if you wanted to show the working, then you say Q would be, well, the normal space, one revolution is 2 pi but you're going to be dividing that by its period, its wavelength, if you like, which is pi up in 2. Pi's cancel out, take that up the top, and that comes to 4. But you probably did it just by thinking 4 of them would fit in. But if that was an awkward number, then you would get this number by dividing it in, by taking one complete cycle, 360 degrees, and dividing it by the period. But it did just say state, so there's no quibbles, they're either right or wrong, and there's no cross errors involved at all here. If it's there, you get the mark. If it's not there, you don't. So it's just one, two, three marks if you've got these numbers written exactly.